Recently, I received an email from Canva encouraging me to make a brochure and a rack card in Canva. So I walked you guys through in a previous video how to make a brochure. If you haven't watched that, make sure that you hop on over and check it out. And this video will be all about how to design your very first rack card in Canva. If you have not signed up for my VIP vault, which is my epic resource library, it's filled with cheat sheets, checklists, tutorials, and even stock photos for free, make sure you hop over to LaShondaBrown.com or click on the link in the description. Without further ado, let's hop in. So if you receive this email from Canva, you can scroll down to the bottom and you can click on start designing rack cards to open up the rack card templates. But if you didn't get the email or can't find it, you can head on over to Canva. Now here's something interesting. From time to time, Canva makes it a little bit difficult for you to find certain templates. So there's a couple things I wanna show you when you need to go create a design. There are a few sections. You'll see print with Canva, social media, documents, personal, education, marketing, events, and ads. Certain sections only have enough template designs to fit on one line, but others actually have an arrow. So make sure that if you are looking for a template, that you also click the arrow, because when you do under marketing, you could design a newsletter, an email header, a coupon, you can keep going, do certificates, menus. They even have a media kit. I never realized that was there because I never clicked more than once. So certain sections of Canva will have more designs. So make sure that if you're looking for one, you click on those arrows. Now, when I looked for the rat card, I actually couldn't find it at this time. So the way that I would navigate to the rat card template is simply to go home where it says design anything and you can type in rat card. And so that will pull up your rat card. So if you're having trouble, you can also get there that way. If you scroll on the side, you'll see all your different options. Now, one thing that I found interesting at the bottom is you even have things like mindfulness bingo or self-care bingo. So it may be that you're using the rack design template, but you can use them for a lot of different purposes. So I thought that was really interesting. You could use that inside of an Instagram story template if you wanted to, or you could use it on the back of a rack card for a brochure. So let's see here. So those are just a few page options, but if we go to the top, the more traditional rat cards typically have information about your business. So you would have something on the front that says a bit about your business, and then you would have something on the back. So if you've never made a rat card before, a rat card is typically a single panel of a brochure. And you see these a lot when you travel and they talk about different venues or different amusements available for tourists. You'll see them inside of offices for like business associations and things like that. So if you want to hand someone something simple that's just got a front and a back that talks about your business, that's about the size of a single panel of a brochure, that is what a rat card is. So you can simply select your front and your back, click on your text, design what you need. You can change the colors of these objects by clicking on the color at the top. Perhaps you've loaded in your branding or you can select a different color by clicking on the plus sign. Now we set this in a previous video, but if you didn't know, you can mix and match your templates. So if you like the back of a different design, maybe you like this front, but you prefer this back, feel free to mix and match your templates. Now we're gonna head over to the side. You want to name your design. So we'll just say rat card. And you can click on download. So you can download it as a PDF. You could download it as a photo if you wanted to use this maybe in an Instagram story. 
you can also print it directly inside of Canva. So just remember that is an option. When you create your designs in Canva, you can create them to save and send to a printer, but you can also eliminate some steps just by sending it to Canva. They do a beautiful job printing. It shows up in a wonderful looking package and then you're done. You don't have to worry about it. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and click on photos really quick just to show you some of your options. But if we wanted to get rid of this photo at the top, let's say we want to look up vegan on the side. And maybe we wanted to put this image instead. We can simply drag it to resize to that size. So we've got a great library of images to choose from. I know a lot of folks use Unsplash for their images or they purchase them from Shutterstock or iStock. Before you purchase your image, make sure that you search for it on the photo section of your Canva dashboard because you may be able to find what you need for free. So I hope this video was useful to you. If you've never made a rack card before, I hope you will give it a try and think about utilizing these to promote your business. Feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel because I teach you how to build your biz without breaking the game. So until next time, to talk for now.